calling to uh, ask you about what percentage house you recommend people buying, what you know, what amount you recommend or ratio you recommend for a house to to uh, gross income. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? What well, I'm I don't know that. Yeah, I don't know that there's a, a magic formula for that. I know that there are certain parameters that the mortgage company will approve and things that they won't approve. So it's going to depend on a lot of things. I mean, really what you're going to want to do, I mean, you're the one who's ultimately responsible for making sure that you can make your payments. So I wouldn't necessarily just borrow as much as the mortgage company is going to allow you to borrow, I would sit down, you need to take a hard look at your budget. And, you know, I recommend looking at your spending rather than just sitting down and writing out, well, here's my bill for the electrical, here's my cell phone bill, my gas bill, and all of those things. Um, It's better if you will actually go back and look in your whatever account you use, if you do online banking, which most of us do these days, you can go there and there's a function where you can export all of your transactions for a certain time period. So I recommend that you do that for at least six months or a year. And you you go through there and you can see what you're actually spending. So if you're, maybe if you're renting right now and you're, you know, your, your rental payment is $1,200 a month, um, and you see how that fits in with your budget, you can look and see how much discretionary income you have, then maybe you can afford a little bit more than that. Maybe you can afford a little bit less. But I think the thing to do is to really take a look at your budget and to see what kind of payment can I afford. Then you need to look at if you're going to have additional costs for insurance or taxes, that that's factored in there and you work backward. And then you know exactly how much money you feel comfortable spending every month to service your loan and then don't borrow any more money than that.